this video, we'll be showing how to mount the X-axis onto the B2X300's main metal frame. We start this by slotting the final pair of linear guides into the linear bearings on each side. The bolts on the ends of the X-axis were left untightened in the previous video, so it's easier for the guides to slide through without difficulty. Note that we won't be tightening them yet. Next, we slip on some guide supports on each linear guide. Take a moment to check the orientation as the tightening bolts must face the front of the printer for easier access when fastening them later on. Place the entire ensemble onto the frame, making sure the x-axis is on the right way. A tip is to hold the loose guide supports as you see here, otherwise they may fall off. After placing the x-axis along with the vertical guides into place, the first step is to fasten the supports on the bottom using the screws, nuts and washers. With this done, the next step is to position the linear guides so that the flat top of the guide is perfectly aligned with the horizontally placed brackets, as indicated here. The guide ends should be flush both at the top and the bottom of each guide. When you are sure of this, fasten the guide supports at the top and bottom, but don't tighten all the way, as there's need for adjustment in just a moment. Using a tape measure, Verify that the distance between the tips of the linear guides are exactly the same at the top and at the bottom. This is to ensure that the guides are as parallel as possible. Adjust if necessary by moving the guide supports along the existing slots in the frame. And once you are sure that they are exactly the same distance, tighten the screws on each support. Now it's time to apply the threaded rods. Screw them into the flex couplings until they hit the stepper motor shaft at the bottom. With this done, unscrew the very same threaded rod about 5mm for clearance. You can check the distance using the tape measure. When you are certain the rods are in place, tighten the socket screws already in the flex coupling. With this done, and the measurements all correct, don't forget to do up the bolts on the Z-axis stepper motors, and all those nuts and bolts on each end of the X-axis. And there, that's your X-axis mounted on the frame.